I hope you're okay wherever you are. I hope you are safe. Is this a premonition? God, please. Please let nothing happen to my husband. I am too young to be a widow. I am barely a day old in this marriage. I can't, I, I, I can't lose my husband. Please, keep him safe. Master, Master, don't go like that. Please don't go, Master. Ah! Save Master! Save him. Save him, Master. Please save him. Please. Save him, Master. Doctor! Doctor! Doctor, don't go. Please. Please. Maxwell, Maxwell, don't go like that. Please don't go. Ah. Maxwell! Save Maxwell. Save Maxwell now. Save him! Save Maxwell! Ah! Save him! Save him! Ah! Save Maxwell! Ah! Save him! Save him, please! Save! Save him! Save him! Save!
get to answer your call now. Yeah, answer your calls. This is too early now. It's too early for me to be feeling this way. Don't you now be bothered? What kind of nonsense is this? Somebody's wife is calling her husband and he's not picking up. Is this right? Take care of Maxwell. Maxwell is being attended to. I need to treat you too. Go, go. Make sure he's fine first. I, I, I don't want anything to happen to Maxwell, please. Please. Please come with me. Stand up. No, no, no. Maxwell. Young man, you're not doing good. And you need to be attended to right now. Where is Maxwell? Is he fine now? I will see Maxwell in a bit and come back and treat your wounds. Let's get on. No. Maxwell. Max, you'll be fine, all right? Just take care of my mother. Take care of my mother. Please. Max, stop saying this thing you're saying. Stop, stop it. You're, you're, you're scaring me. I'm, I'm not going to take care of your mother because you'll be here to take care of your mother. You, you, you do that better than me now. No, don't, don't tell me that. What do you mean by take care of your mother? Stop saying that kind of thing. Just relax, you'll be fine. The, the doctors are doing their job, and I am sure you'll be very, 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 very fine. Huh? I can't move with the hands. I can't move with the spot. I don't know. Maxwell, please. Look here, man. Maxwell, try and bear the pain. It's just for a while, okay? We're in a very good hospital. They'll take good care of us. We'll be fine. Don't, don't worry, you'll be fine. You don't need to ask me to take care of your mother. You don't need to, when you be there to take care of your mother. Don't, don't tell me that. Alright? You'll be fine. Maxwell. Oh my God. Maxwell. Maxwell. Ma Maxwell. Maxwell, please don't do it. Don't go! Maxwell, please don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. Don't go! Maxwell! Maxwell! Maxwell, wake up. Maxwell, wake up. Wake up, you're going to take care of your mother. Maxwell, wake up! Doctor! Maxwell! Maxwell! Doctor! Maxwell, don't do this to me. Maxwell, Maxwell, please, please, don't do this. Doctor! Doctor! What's going on? Doctor! Nurse, what's... Maxwell. Doctor! 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 Maxwell! Maxwell, please don't do this! Maxwell! Maxwell, please! Doctor! Doctor! Oh my god! Amanda! Amanda! Oh, Stella. Thank you. Leaves, what is it? I've not been able to reach your husband. I've been calling, it's ringing, but it's not picking up. <sighs> maybe his phone is down. Or maybe he's not even hearing the phone ring. Give this man a slack. He's on transit. He didn't hear the phone ring. Obviously. 
babes, you know me. You know my spirit of discernment is high. When I feel something, I am always right. Right about now, I am telling you something is definitely wrong. All is not well. Something is wrong with my husband. There is nothing wrong with your husband. Okay? You're just being plain negative. I am not being negative. I'm just telling you how it is. I am telling you how I feel. Can you hear yourself talk? The man is obviously exhausted from his trip. Hence the reason he's not hearing his phone ring. Look at the brighter side. Oh, really? He's obviously sleeping. Okay, hold on. Take a look at this. Did you see how many times I called him? Is he dead? Like no matter how, how deep asleep you are, you should hear your phone ring for this number of times that I've called him. Come on now, you the one talking. Okay, it's all right. Eh? His phone is obviously on silent. You self, when they sleep, when they enter deep sleep, I know how you put your phone on silent. Not this deep. But like you said, I need to wait. After some time, I'll call again. Just have faith. Okay? <laughs> Have faith and stop being negative. That's all. Huh. Maxwell. 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 Maxwell! 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 Where is Maxwell? Where is Maxwell? I want to go to Maxwell! I want to go to Maxwell! Where is? I want to go to Maxwell! 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 Where's Maxwell? Where's Maxwell? Where's Maxwell? Where's Maxwell? Ah! Maxwell! Maxwell! I want to go to Maxwell! I want to go to Maxwell! I want to go to Maxwell! Maxwell! Ah! Ah! What is it? His number is switched off. I mean, Stella, he switched off his phone. He cannot switch off his phone. His battery is probably dead. That is the point. No, that exactly is the point. Because his battery can never die. No, his battery can never die. It can never run low. <laughs> Stella, I know the man I married. I know. I know my husband, he can never allow his battery to die. This is why I am telling you there is something wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Stop thinking negatively. What? There is nothing wrong with him. Okay? You're just getting yourself overly worked up. Calm down. And that's the problem. No, Stella, that is the problem because I just got married. So why am I already worried about my husband? Am I supposed to be going through this now? Calm down. This is not fair now. Calm down. No, it's not about calming down, no. It's not about calming down. I am telling you that something is wrong with my husband. You're telling me calm down. There is nothing wrong right with him. Okay, it's all right. Let me try. Maybe I didn't do it well. Maybe I got, I, I got it all wrong. Same thing. <laughs> calm down. Calm down. 
Martin? You worry too much. What do you mean I worry too much? But that's the point. I am worried. Ha, oh, God. Come, come, come. See, okay, fine. Can you please allow him get to his destination first? Then we can now make proper investigation. For how many hours? No, how long is the journey that I have to wait one week to get in touch with my husband? It's okay, just calm down. We'll keep trying. Okay? Calm down now. Thank you. You're in the hospital. Did you forget? Thank God for that doctor who gave you blood. I'm sure you feel a lot better now. Blood? Yes. We couldn't find your blood type, so she donated her blood to you. Who's this doctor? She's Dr. Cassie. She donated her blood to you and made sure that you are alive. I'm happy you came around. You have been in a coma. Just can I get to see this doctor and take care of the heart? I will. I will check if she's unseated. Tell her you're awake. Thank you. Thank God you're awake. How do you feel? I'm fine, thank you. And who are you? I'm Dr. Cassie. Oh. You are the doctor who donated blood to me. Technically, yes. Well, there's nothing technical about that. Because if you're the doctor who donated blood to me, that simply means you are the one who saved my life. But bigger than that, I just cannot believe that the blood of a beautiful woman like you runs in my veins right now. Are you kidding me? You're just gaining consciousness and you want to flirt? Well, you can call it whatever, but being sick will not stop me from noticing your beauty. Thanks for the compliment. Most importantly, I'm up here awake, so how do you feel? Obviously, I feel good with your blood running in my veins. Or don't you feel good in your own skin? You sure have a way with words. But this is a hospital. Flattery will not take you anywhere. It might not take me anywhere, but it will surely gain me a smile. I wouldn't it? Uh, I just saw you smile. <laughs> okay, it's obvious you're better now. I'll just check your vitals and then we'll proceed from there. Oh, no, doctor. I... I don't feel good. I don't feel better. You don't feel better? What's the problem? The problem is if I accept to be fine, you will obviously discharge me. And when you discharge me, I will not get to see your beautiful face again. Let me just check your vitals. Honestly, what happened to his friend really affected him. So, what do we do? He needs to come for the therapy. That is the only solution. You know, when it comes to therapy, not everyone wants to go into it. I understand, but you need to talk to him. It is for his own good, and he has to do that fast. Yes, his mental health will be affected badly. Good day, Tira. For what? 
I'm not mad. Look, Jethro, therapy is not for mad people. It's a mental state. We need to understand why you feel what you feel and why what is happening to you is happening to you. We really need to act fast, else your health will degenerate to us. I don't want to do this. You have to do it, please. It's for your own good and for the good of other people in your life. And what do you mean by other people in my life? Look, let's not go into that detail yet, all right? This therapy is just a few sections. You will decide whether to go further or not. I'll do it on only one condition. What chance? You have to come with me. Look, this is personal. It's a private thing. It's either you come with me or I'm not going. Okay, that is fine by you. Let's go. I bought another phone. The company relocated me and everything seemed all right. And I re-established contact with my wife, Amanda, but for some reason, I wasn't feeling that connection anymore. The only thing that flooded my head was Cassie. It got to a point that when Amanda calls, I don't even pick or find a reason not to talk to her because I wanted to give Cassie all my attention. It wasn't long before Cassie demanded security. She wanted to know where this relationship was going to, so I had to make a move. This is so wrong. And then again, I know, I know, I know that our jobs don't give us time for family. But what you did is so wrong, bro. It's wrong. Yeah, I know. I'm glad you also know that there are women everywhere. Too many women everywhere. Exactly my point. Exactly why you should position yourself to just play and disengage. You don't give them the impression that it will last a lifetime. You don't go about destroying people's lives. Just wrong with you. Steve, come on, please. Please don't make me feel worse than I feel right now. Please, don't do that to me. Don't. You should feel worse. Jethro, you should feel guilty. I want you to feel the pain of what you've done. All wrong now. Steve, you're supposed to be looking for a way to get me out of this mess. I'm not trying to make me feel guilty for it. Come on. What are friends for? Okay, now you tell me. What about Carol? You also got lonely? Steve, you're supposed to be looking for a way to get me out of this mess, not make me feel guilty for it. Come on. Guilty is what I want you to feel, bro. You're guilty. You're guilty, bro. Huh? -uh. All wrong now, bro. All wrong. All I know is I am not leaving this house for either of you. Because this is my husband's house. I am his only legitimate wife and I will not be numbered. Not in this life, not in another life. So both of you, get ready to get yourself out of my husband's house. Which legitimate wife? I want to understand. So what am I? Huh? You're a concubine. Do you sense? Don't, don't call me concubine again. Don't try it. Babe, I'm not that you stupid. Cheap. What is wrong with you? Why don't you just accept your position? No, really, does your people know about Jethro? No, do they know anybody called Jethro? My darling, if anything happens to you here, you're a goner. So you don't see anything wrong what he has done? You're supporting evil? Really? I don't see anything wrong in what he has done because there is nothing wrong with what he has done. And I do not support evil, my darling. I don't. But all I know is I am not leaving this relationship because I have invested so much. I have invested so much. I have made a lot of sacrifice for this relationship for me to just walk out of my marriage. No, if I walk out now, wait till I gain. No, really, what do I gain? If you know you didn't gain anything, pack your things and get out. 
because I invested a lot into that man's life. I gave my blood to save him. As vampire. It's a very special day. I the one. Hey! No, no. You called. What are you doing with the gun? Hey! Richard, stop, stop! Richard, what are you doing? Richard, this is not Hey! And they can forgive. But I will not forgive. Now with the gun! What did you say? Hey! Okay. Ah! Richard, what are you doing? Stop! 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 Stop it! Stop! Please, please, Richard, please, please, this is this is not the solution. This is not the solution. So good. 